Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to bind additional fields to the appointments of Synfusion React Scheduler and give you a brief overview of advanced event handling options available on React Scheduler. First, I will start with an overview of the advanced event handling options available on React Scheduler. You can easily perform CRUD operations with any kind of appointments on the scheduler using Data Manager. That is, you can easily create, read, update and delete the appointments as and when you required from the scheduler using the Data Manager. The Data Manager is a component offered by Synfusion to support such a CRUD data manipulations. Other than normal CRUD actions, you can select and delete the multiple events at a time. Select multiple appointments all at once by holding the control key and then simultaneously click on the events that you want to delete and press the delete key. You can now delete the multiple events all at once. Also, you can easily extend a scheduler's events time by resizing either its start or end handlers. You can also change the scheduler events time by dragging and dropping them onto the desired time slots. And next comes the recurring option. The React Scheduler has its own built-in editor to manage such recurring options. The next thing is the event customization which is made much simplified with the template option. You can even display the appointments on your own required time zone by setting the proper time zone on React Scheduler. Here I have set UTC time zone for React Scheduler. so. The appointments will display based on the UTC time zone. You can also display tooltips while hovering over the appointments to display additional information about the appointments. You can make specific appointments to display in a read-only mode so that you cannot edit those appointments. Say for example, the edit and delete options are in a disabled state for this read-only event. Also, you can block specific time interval with the help of blocked events. Now, I will proceed to show you how to bind additional fields to the appointments. I will also list out few other appointment options like how to make specific appointments as read-only as well as how to block specific time slots. As I have already explained about how to create and configure React application as well as how to add React scheduler with simple JSON data. So, you can refer the getting started video to know the basic steps. And you can also find its reference link in the description part below. Now, I'm directly going to show you how to bind additional fields to the appointments. First, let me open the existing application. And here, I'm going to change the default subject for the appointment. So, I need to define the subject field with the proper summary as testing inside the data source property. And now, you can view the same on the appointment here. In case, if I want to make this appointment as an all day event, then I need to set the is all day property as true inside the data source property. So here you can view the appointment at the top section near the date header. Sometimes you may want to repeat the appointments for specific period. In this case, you can use the recurrence rule property with some valid rule string. Now I'm going to repeat this appointment for 10 number of days. So let me define the recurrence rule property with frequency as daily, interval as 1, and count as 10 within the data source property. Here, this appointment will repeat on a daily basis for 10 number of occurrences. You can view the changes over here where the appointments repeated for 10 number of days. Okay, I will proceed to show you how to bind scheduler data with different field names. Here, if I want to name these fields with a different name, then, I need to define the fields property with a valid field mapping names from the data source. Here, I have defined the name, summary for subject, start for start time, and end for end time. Now, when you look at the scheduler, the appointments are not displayed. This is because the field mapping names are different here. So, let me map the appropriate field name for subject as summary, start time as start, and end time as end. And now, you can spot the appointments on the scheduler as per the provided data. In case, if you missed to include the subject value for the event, then you can display the default text values on it. Here, I am going to remove the text value from this field and then let me define the default property and set the custom value to it. 
So here we can view the appointments with the default value set to the subject field. Also, you can notice here that the edit and delete options are enabled for these appointments. Now, when you make these appointments as read only, you can disable those edit and delete options. For that, I need to define the is read only property as true within the data source property. So now, the edit and delete options are disabled for the appointments and you cannot perform any CRUD operations on these appointments. Alright, finally, let me show you how to block specific time range on the scheduler with the help of blocked events. To block the specific time range, I need to set the isBlock property as true. Look at the scheduler now where the appointments created for specific time interval blocks the time range on the scheduler. Okay, let me summarize some of the important points discussed in this session. We have seen how to bind additional fields to the appointments and different field names for the scheduler data source fields. Also, we have seen how to block the specific time range using block appointments and how to make the specific event as read only on the React scheduler. If you find this video as useful, then click the like button and subscribe to our channel as well. Thank you once again for watching this video.